Hello, David Tritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, you know how this works. As we see more filming, more images, more visuals from Bond 25, we start to really identify and locate different things. And of course we want to collect them, but I'm hoping that this review of these sunglasses help you make those decisions because I'm very sensitive to the fact that a lot of these things they're considered luxury items, not just because of the cost, but obviously the, the quality are very good, but it's an investment. You know, whatever it is, whether you're collecting them or you're going to use them, and I hope you're going to use them out in the wild, you still want to make the right choice. So this is a review of the Barton Pereira Joe sunglasses. Now let's talk about um, and look at an image of where we saw these for the first time. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, what was great about this is um, when I first saw Craig on the streets, uh, he was wearing his personal varnaise that he tends to wear, but then when he filmed, he was wearing the Joe. So we're gonna talk about these in detail. Before we get into that, I think it's really great that Joe Darlington had a sunglasses uh, named after him. I think it's, no, that didn't happen. You know that didn't happen, but I had to say that. What's nice about these is, as I talk about them, I really think this was an interesting choice for the costume designer and Daniel Craig to pick out. I think it harkens back to um, some of the sunglasses you might have seen on Sean Connery. It really does have that vintage type look to it. It's very angular in shape, but it does. I mean, it looks like a traditional Wayfair, just kind of turned on its edge a little bit. But let's look at the details. Okay, I thought it would be important to uh, to take a look at how these come. Now, this is the way it came from Wink Optics. Um, our good friends over there were, were good enough to send us uh, one of their uh, pairs that they had. And check this out. How, how cute was that? Shaken, not stirred. Well, as long as it's not stirred. But you'll see in here that there's a lot of things in the box. We're going to put some of these things aside. Uh, because I already know what they are, and we're going to get to them in a second. But I just wanted to show you, Wink Optics, they're so cool. Uh, they actually had extra cleaning cloth, return label, as if we're going to need that, Wink Optics cleaning. Um, you've got some delicious candies in there, because, you know, who doesn't want to have candies while you're reviewing your James Bond sunglasses? It makes a lot of sense. All right, let's put everything out, shall we? So we've got, uh, I'll tell you what this is in a second. And here they are. All right, here they are close up. Now what's great is it actually, this one, I think this is gonna come in a, in a few different ways. This is obviously one of the pairs that they had. Oh, look at that, I made an owl face with the ring light. Um, so you could see if we get a little bit closer here, how nice these are. The lenses that were in here were demos, but I'm going to actually read off some of the details so you can hear about them directly. Okay, so let's get up and personal with this. Whoops. Oh, whatever. Anyway, let's get up and close. Uh, first of all, a 20 millimeter bridge, 52 millimeter orbit. These Joes, they're made of an acetate plastic, which is uh, actually very cool. Um, these are made in Japan. And again, it harkens back to that vintage look. But what I really like about this is, check out the details. This is very cool. We're just going to take a look at that. Look at that cross thatch detail. So you don't usually see that on a temple. By the way, the, um, the actual arms, nice and thin. Take a look at kind of some of the inside detail with the name. And by the way, Barton Pereira, we've got to talk about uh, Barton Pereira as a company. Uh, we put, Wink Optics put in the gray lenses, which are appropriate because Bond has gray lenses in these sunglasses. So Barton Pereira, uh, the designers, uh, the, the founders, the owner, uh, they actually were from Oliver Peoples and they designed one of my favorite pair of sunglasses, the Airmans that I wear all the time. Maybe that's why I'm so drawn to this. I mean, it's the same people it's got a very angular type look. The way they describe this on their catalog is that it has a very masculine look to it. It's very forward. Um, it looks like it's in constant movement, almost liquid, uh, which is a very, very cool way of describing these particular sunglasses and an interesting way to describe Bond. 
Now we're going to show you what else comes with this. So we're going to open this box right here. You can see it's got the, uh, the name and the labeling on there, which is very nice. And we're going to open this up and oh, 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 what do we have here? Very cool cleaning cloth. Has the name on there. Very nice. Very colorful. Part of the part of the branding is that you know they're a pretty colorful brand. So very nice. I'm trying not to get owl eyes in there with the ring light, but can't be helped. Just deal with it. Um, and then over here, this was very cool. I had to actually learn how to use this. This is their anniversary case. Look at how thin this is. Now, what was crazy to me is it was actually thinner than the sunglasses. So I'm like, how is this going to work? So let's um, take this out of the box or, or try. <laughs> yeah, we show you foibles and all. Now look at how thin this is. What I like about this case is when you're done with cases, you have those thick cases. It's like, where do I put it? I can't put it in my pocket. Where am I going to put it? This is thin enough. It can go anywhere in your pocket comfortably, but you open it like this. Those are our friends from Wink. Okay. And literally you push this out and it creates a triangle. So let's, let's show you what, uh, until I haven't done this a lot. There you go. Now it's a triangular case. It went from flat to triangular and obviously you can put these in however you like. You can put them in this way. You can put them in the other way. Um, there, there's all types of alternatives of, of ways that you can put them in, but it's so cool. I, I love that this case fits them very nicely. Is just, again, goes from very flat to angular and now you've got a sturdy sunglass case to protect your Bond 25 sunglasses. Very cool design from, uh, hello, upside down, Barton Pereira. Really nice details. And that's just some of the accoutrements that come with it. Uh, what I loved about it is, again, these are types of things that I like to show you the details because this is an investment. This is something I understand. These aren't $15 sunglasses you're going to get at the drugstore. You're going to want to take care of them. You're going to want to love them and treat them well. But some of the things that come with it, the pomp and circumstance, the opening of all these things, that is part of the joy of a luxury item. All right, so you can see these are pretty amazing. and. Uh, Incredible detail, incredible quality, so you know all about them and what they come with. But let's take a look at what they look on, and I'll come up a little bit closer. So you can see, I always say that I have a Charlie Brown head. I, I think it's large. I don't know. Is it? Who knows? I have a 58, 59 hat, but I'm not going to give you my measurements of my head. I think that would be just, just too detailed. But you can see what they look like on. They're extremely comfortable. They feel slightly lighter than the Varnay. So if you have the Varnay um, sunglasses, the other ones from Bond 25, these actually feel a little bit lighter. You can see what they look like from the side. See what I mean? They, they, they have that kind of traditional look, but just maybe like 20 degrees different. And from the other side, we told you we would show you a lot of details. But of course, you know, because of the orbit size and everything, this isn't going to be for everyone. But if you like this style of sunglasses, the quality, the, the gray lenses, that black shiny acetate uh, frame is really going to connect with you. Paired with a suit, paired with, you know, a simple polo that, like this uh, Terry polo, it's really going to hit the mark. And of course, it screams out vintage, that 1960s, but it carries through. It's something that uh, 20, 30 years from now, you're not going to say, whoa, what was fashion thinking about? To me, they have style that's lasting, but they're not overly fashionable. You know the difference between style and fashion. Style is around forever. It's part of who you are. Fashion comes and goes. So I really like these. I hope that uh, this was helpful. I hope in making a decision of whether you get these or not, and we've got to thank again, thank again uh, our friends at Wink Optics. They rushed these out to us. They had a handful of these. They're going to be getting the, uh, more of these in the winter time, so you can get in touch with them. We'll put the link down below. But they wanted us to do a review because you need to know what these look like, feel like, and there's no better way than to just get a really detailed review. All right. That's it for now. Hopefully next time we'll bring you even more and more things around Bond 25. But this has been David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.